Hello, good morning everyone. It's me. Welcome back to my channel, Maika Eve channel. But before anything else, I would like to say thank you to all the people who subscribe to my channel. From the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say thank you everyone. And of course, um, I'm so glad and happy that we're getting growing or grower or what to say. <laughs> Kayo na mag adjust. Well, um, today, uh, i-discuss natin ang bagong topic ngayon ni Sandrea. It's very, um, how to say, napakagandang topic na ito kasi lahat tayo makaka-relate or nakarelate. Ako mismo nakarelate sa topic na ito. Kaya gusto ko siyang i-share sa inyong lahat kasi lahat tayo, um, like I said, lahat tayo nakaka-experience ng um, pagmamahal because this is relatable to love and you know when you get separated and so I did discuss ko ito sa inyo mamaya and of course you have to watch the video so that you will know and understand what is this video all about and by the way again shout out pala sa mga new youtuber Where you will become a successful youtuber we have to follow some certain rules and regulations like for example like i said in order to become a successful youtuber we need um our videos to be viewed by viewers ang kailangan natin ng subscribers so lahat po na mga mag subscribe sa channel ko before ho kayo mag subscribe sa channel ko you have to watch the video first like three to five minutes and then so kasi yun po ang ang rules and regulations ng YouTube. So, ngayon, punta na tayo sa video ni Ate Sandria. So, let's watch, guys. When someone has hurt us, it is impossible to let go of the pain without also letting go of the anger and blame. This is why we struggle so much with letting go. Because how can we let someone get away after they've caused such hurt in our lives? So yes, whilst we want to be free from the pain, we don't want to let go of anger and blame because we believe we must somehow get even. When you think about it, someone may have caused us pain in the past but it is this dilemma that is causing us suffering in the present. When something awful has already happened, it has already happened. No matter how much pain we inflict upon the perpetrator, it doesn't change what has already happened. This isn't about being matter of fact or making light of something of extreme importance. It's about understanding that all the anger and hatred in this world can not take away what has already happened. If someone committed murder, we can take action to have the person removed from society so that they cannot hurt or harm anyone again. If someone has hurt us or the people we love, we can take action in determining how to best make sure they wouldn't be able to do it again. There is a difference between taking action and seeking justice. We can take action without the burning anger that traps us into suffering. Revenge sounds real good. 
good, but in real life, someone else's suffering doesn't give us peace. To have real peace, it would mean that when someone has hurt or harmed us, we cannot let them victimize us further by holding on to righteous anger and our need for revenge, because that would mean having to live in the past, and it would rob us of our freedom in the present. It's really hard to have ice in our veins and hate in our hearts, yet want to live with peace and love. This is why we don't forgive for others, but for ourselves. It is in our own self-interest to not hold ourselves back by holding on to anger, blame, and hatred. If we really want revenge, then we can take it by living our best life. So be happy always.